Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about what are environments in Azure DevOps and how to target an environment from a deployment job. Okay, so if you are already in an IT world, you might already be aware what environment this is, isn't it? You might be using it in your day to day um, DevOps world where you uh, where you would have discussed about uh, hey, my code is deployed to Q environment. My code is deployed to UAT. My code is deployed into production and it is currently live, right? So th these are what we generally call as environment. Okay. An environment represents a logical target where your pipeline deploys your software or an application. Okay. As I said, the typical environment names that we generally use in our day to day world are dev, test, QA, staging, UAT, pre-prod, production, etc. based on your requirement. This can, this is not fixed. This can vary according to your requirement. All right. So why do you need an environment? Okay. So uh, as I said, you no, know, it gives you a separate space where you can work and you can have a control of your code and uh, where you can have a control of your code. Right. So one more main reason why you want environment is you know, it's, it is a separate space. Okay. It is a separate space where you can track everything with regards to your application or your project. Right. In addition to that, in, in the Azure DevOps world, why do you need an environment is you can easily keep a, keep track of your deployment history. Okay. So as a, uh, developer or a QA, uh, or a, on a, or a operations guy, you might be doing a lot of deployments or a lot of code changes in your day to day work. Right. So as a as a result, you will be ending in doing a lot of deployments. OK, so it will help you to actually keep a clear history of your deployment. Right. You can easily look at your pipelines. What are pipeline runs? How long it has been running? What kind of environment it is run? Uh, what are the resources that environment is using? So you can see a lot of other information um, under your deployment history. OK, this is the main advantage of having environment in Azure DevOps. Okay. In addition to that, you can easily have a clear trace traceability of your commits and work items. Okay. So you can view uh, jobs within the pipeline run that target an environment, right? You can even view the commits and work items that are newly deployed to the environment. So and so, all right. And another main reason why you want an environment is for security purpose. Okay. So you can environment, you can secure your environment by specifying who and all can use your environment. Okay which pipeline can access your environment. Okay. So it allows you to actually have so much control over your environment. So that is why it is very much secured. All right. So let's see different ways of how do you create an environment? How do you create a resource and how do you work with, uh, how do you work with environment and resource and all. All right. So there are two ways on which you can create an environment. One is you can go to the environment tab under pipelines. You can create an environment from here in the UI or else what you can do is you can go to your pipeline and in your YAML pipeline, you can actually create, you can provide your environment details in your YAML pipeline. If all the details are provided correctly in your YAML, in that case, a new environment will be created for you in uh, via YAML. Okay. For now, let's concentrate on how do you create an environment via UI and then we can use this environment in our YAML and see how, uh, how, how you can target an environment using a deployment job. All right. First, let's create an environment. Here it is. Let me give an environment name as dev maybe. Okay. So this is a development environment. When you work with environment, okay, environment is just a skeleton. Okay. It's just a space, but what do you actually have inside your environment? What resource do you have inside is what? uh more important in azure devops environments all right so you have an option to create an environment alone and add a resource at a later stage or else you can add your resources here itself okay you have a couple of options here one is kubernetes and another one is virtual machines okay for now do not worry about kubernetes we will try to cover those in our upcoming sessions for now let's select virtual machines and click on next Okay, I'm verifying my uh, virtual machine resource details here. By default, we have provider operating system. And finally, you have something called a registration script. Okay. So if you want to register this uh, only if the VM is registered, okay, it will 
be actually accepted as an environment resource okay so in order to do that i'm gonna copy this command here it's a bigger command i can show you in the powershell you can go to your admin uh, powershell in admin mode and then run this command okay Oops. okay what's the problem with my right click oh. Oh, here it is okay i'm just using the previous uh command just ignore what is above just concentrate only from here okay meanwhile this is running i'm just uh gonna pass our pass the video for a while because this will take some time to run okay once the agent is successfully registered the vm is registered i will resume back now i'm back i'm just trying to register the agent another while registering it will take some time to get connected to the server once it got connected to the server you can see um you know i need to provide few default options here do not worry about all these things uh, for now just go with all default options press enter for n and again press enter for n and press enter for an authority system again n okay so do not worry about all these things uh, just provide with just go ahead with the default option and then uh, you know you can if at all you required you can change these options later for example if you want to add any tags you can provide why and give the tag details here okay so for now do not worry about all these things just focus on the basic details about how to register your vm okay now the vm is registered and you can see at the last line crm tiago dot dev is my environment name this is my organization name is this is my environment name and this is my virtual machine detail bcp aq 021628 all right now this is started successfully let me go to my environment page again okay so now you can see i have an additional tab called resources here under resources you can clearly view we have something called bcp fn aq 021628 which is my vm details all right and we have an additional tab called approvals and checks do not worry about it now we'll try to cover it in our upcoming video this is just to provide few up, uh, approvals and have some control over your environment and all all right so here is my resource right now my resource is created right so now i have my environment dev and my resource is created how do i actually use this environment or resource for performing a pipeline run okay now let me go to my pipeline let's try to edit it this is the pipeline that i've been using for demo purpose so i'm just using the same pipeline here again as well okay so what we are trying to do is we are just trying to Uh, run a job by pointing to uh, the environment which we actually created okay so in order to do that i'm going to remove this let's uh, start with stages okay and then we'll add a stage called um let me call it as deploy for now okay deploy or deploy to dev something like this all right and then you can provide a display name if required display name display name again it can be deploy to dev okay and then you can provide the pool details you can run it on any vm image vm image vm image in vm image can be windows or ubuntu latest let me go with ubuntu latest all right and then there is an option called environment okay so this is the key part environment 
what happened here it should be somewhere here and we what's the problem mm -hmm. there is some problem let me try to What's the mistake I'm making? Generally, it will show it in my environment. There is some, there is some mistake I'm doing. Okay, I forgot to add jobs here. Okay, so there are. I think I'm doing some mistake here. I have never added deployment details here. Okay, uh, sorry for the confusion. Let me remove this part again uh, i need to actually add a job okay sorry for the confusion again i need to add a job here under stage uh, that is why it is not coming up jobs under job i need to provide a deployment details okay this is something which you have not discussed in our uh, prior videos uh, for now just focus on this because this is very straightforward to understand but i will try to cover this in detail in our upcoming videos about what are how do we use deployment uh, parameter here in yaml how do we work with environment parameter and all but for now uh, let's focus only on the video uh, the, uh, the intention of video is to make you understand how environment is created and how do you actually use that environment and a resource uh, for running a job all right so deployment i can give a name let me call it as uh, deploy to dev um, and then let me provide a display name display usually it should be deployed to dev okay and display name jobs under jobs it should be deployment deployment should actually come here okay. indentation is very much important in yaml so so that it will show you the suggestions then and there okay display name uh, display name can be here and you can provide a detail called deploy to dev something like this okay in deploy to dev and then let's provide the pool details the pool can be okay pool can be vm image we can provide it as ubuntu latest for now if you want to run it in windows or any other other operating system you can change that accordingly ubuntu latest and then comes our main part okay next we have to create an environment okay we have to point that to a point to an environment what we actually created now so we have something called environment parameter so we use that environment and then we will use a name inside that environment okay we have something called name under the name you have to provide the environment name ours is dev right i need to provide it within quotes and next we have to provide the resource name okay what is the resource that we are trying to access within our environment all right so what is our resource name i forgot it it should be bcp hyphen aq a bcp hyphen aq 021628 021628 all right so this is our resource name and what is our resource type that is virtual machine right there was there are there is another resource type called kubernetes but here we are working only on virtual machine okay and then we have something called strategy okay you can either use it or you can um, you know just right away run the scripts okay so this is something you can use as well you can give a strategy like you can run it once run once and then deploy steps 
script is you can um, run any script if you are placed somewhere like if you want to run any python script you can run that or else just echo hello world all right so i'm just running a script to print hello okay so what i've done here is just just to write right i have a stages okay for now i have only one stage here which is deployed to dev, dev environment under stage i have a job where i am trying to perform a deployment okay so this is the details that have been provided i have provided under deployment uh, parameter and key part here is here is the environment parameter so under environment i am just pointing it to the re environment that i have created just now i am pointing that to that particular environment called dev and i am just using the resource name and resource type and and i am trying to run this pipeline okay so let me try to validate and save this pipeline looks valid and looks like there is no problem let me save this and let me run this okay i'm just starting to run you can see my under job step i have something called deploy to dev probably this might not have access okay so probably we need to provide permissions okay the pipeline needs to needs permission to access two resources all right view this and provide the relevant access okay so what access we are providing here is we are providing the pipeline to access or access or use our environment and another access is to use our resource okay now i have provided the permissions i am expecting this job to run in a while all right let's wait for some time right okay i hope you understood how how we created an environment how we actually used that environment to run a uh, job and how do we use that environment in a pipeline right i think now it is run successfully if you want, if you have any queries you can go to the command line you can see it printed hello for me the script ran successfully and it printed hello for me if you have any further question also you can go to our pipelines tab and you can see the pipeline details here and the pipeline ran successfully now and you can see the pipeline details run details here okay so this is how actually you can create an environment and how you how you can target an environment from a deployment job okay so this way uh, you know this is a, this is very basic information about how do you actually start working with environments okay this might be very much useful if you are all, if you are in a dev, devops world okay um, so i would suggest you to try and see this if you have any queries please let me know because um, you know trust me in real world uh, if you are a developer or a devops person this is something you will regularly use in your day to day activity all right so i would suggest you to try this and let me know if you have any queries please uh, if if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you